so this is something that that was very important for me and something that I always try to impart on my daughter that it is okay to fail. When I grew up, if anything was done wrong, especially from the first time you did it, you were immediately discarded as in you're just no good. You're just not good enough or you got punished or whatever negative thing, negative consequence would happen. And what it ended up doing was it ended up making you afraid to do anything. Because if you did something right, you just wanted to sit on it because, hey, you're perfect. You got the thing right. And you didn't want to do something else to to, to tarnish your your perfect thing. And and all it ends up doing is, is limiting you from learning things. And one thing that, that I have learned for myself is the only time I actually learn something is when I make a mistake. Because if I do something, and the result is correct. I don't know if I did it right or not. I could have done everything completely wrong, think I understand and completely not understanding, and just happen by chance to come to the right answer without knowing that what I did was actually right or wrong. Mm -hmm. However, when you do something wrong, you know it's wrong, and you're going to look for your mistakes. And by looking for your mistakes, you're going to learn more about it, and you're going to get a deep understanding. And it's that deep understanding that enables you to actually learn things and, and get better at things. So I always used to tell my daughter, try, give it an honest effort. Try once, try twice, try 10 times, 20 times, however many tries you need to take. It is okay to fail. It's okay to fail once. It's okay to fail a hundred times. Mm -hmm. Just try to learn from it. You do something, you look at the results, you try something else, Look how the results differ. Try to understand why they differ, which one is better, and then try to do something along those lines and keep picking away until eventually you get to where you want to get. And in the meantime, you will have learned the things that don't work. You will actually have learned something. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's something, especially when, when I grew up, it's, I don't know if people call it old school or not, but it was very much, it was very strict. And it was not very conducive to want, wanting to learn things because you you would sit there in fear of saying the wrong thing because you were afraid of getting punished. And, and back home, it used to be like, oh, if you don't notice, that means you're dumb and stupid. Mm -hmm. No, it's not that you're dumb and stupid. It's just that you don't know. Mm -hmm. So so that was something, and I think for kids now too, depending on the environment that they're in and whatnot, I think it's okay for, for kids to experiment and try things out and, and see what the results are, what the consequences of what they're doing and try to understand, well, why did that happen? If you pick up a glass or you pick up an object and you drop it, it goes down. Why is that? Well, because of gravity. Well, what is gravity? Okay, now we're going to go on a whole different path to understanding what that is, but, but let them learn. Mm -hmm. Take something or let them take something, like even if it's pushing a glass off. You, know, you push the glass off the table, it fell and broke. Well, now it's broke. Now you learned that if you push something glass off the table, it's going to break and you're not going to get it again. You know, everything is a learning process, but I, I, I think it's important to encourage people to make mistakes. Mm 